Hello everyone, and welcome to this Let's Play of Dreamforge. Once again, we're on the home stretch. We've only got a few areas left to go through. The holding cells of a quarters, and past that will be the Dreamforge itself. As for which path we're going to take, well, I think I heard that there was something in the holding cells that we will need to talk to. So, let's go there and find out. Maybe we can find something interesting there. Right. Shaper researchers have extremely high storage needs. When they are trying to shape a new sort of creature or modify an old one, it takes time to see whether their efforts were successful. It is not enough for the altered creature to not go rogue or die immediately. It must be observed for some time to ensure that the changes made did not cause long-term difficulties. This unpleasant job takes place in networks of cells like this one. Here, hard-working serviles and guardians take the experiments, hold them in cells, and observe them carefully. Of course, if the creatures get loose and interbreed, it can cause real problems. But that sort of thing could only happen in the unlikely event of the facility being abandoned for a few centuries. And when does that ever happen? Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we know what we're going to be fighting here. Rogues and lots of them. Yeah, yeah. I can kill these turrets easily. They're just submission turrets. They're not reapers. Now those, oh, reapers would be annoying and rough. Let's see what's in this. What's in here? Living tool to open. You know what? Yeah, let's find out. Let's see, there's the living tools. blast of heat hits you when you step into this narrow tunnel. It's a hot, dry access shaft. Small shafts run through the walls and ceiling, delivering warm, fresh air to the rest of the complex. It's amazing that all of this is still working. It's a testament to the quality of shaper design and the industriousness of the servant mines who maintain the equipment. However, it's also a very dangerous place in which to wander around. <laughs> ah, no wonder. Pylons. Multiple pylons. Oh, jeez. Multiple very highly dangerous pylons. Oh, dear. Okay, uh... Cure. Okay, we are healed up. I saw another pylon up to the north. There's probably one right around the corner here. Easily killed. And easily healed. Okay, that's fine. There's one right here. Perfect. There we go. Okay. There's another one in the corner. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. There any... None right there. None right there. Okay. A little damage to it. Probably shouldn't go in these access tunnels so soon, but... What the hell. There we go. Ah! There's another. Okay, you know what? Ah. Yeah, that works. Okay, you two, go hide there. Ah, I said hide. Oh, jeez. I didn't see that one. Oh, boy. Okay. There, that one's down. Get out of the way, please. Good. These damn turrets. Pylons. Whatever the hell they are. Really annoying. And strong. At least they're easy to kill. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Probably would have taken care of some of the pylons. Not that one. Wonder which ones it took care of then. Ah. 
Ow. Yeah, we can use one of these. This servile has been here for many, many years. The heat and dryness of these tunnels has completely desiccated him. His robes crumble to dust at your touch, revealing a key on a thong around his neck. You carefully take it. Oh, a key. That's... That's certainly, uh, something at least. Probably highly useful. I'm sure we could use that key for whatever it's for. I do wonder what it's for. Oh, actually we're getting a little XP from these. That's good. There's another... Ah! Ow. Okay, what are those controlling then? If it's not controlling that pylon... Oh jeez, more pylons. Get in there, and yeah, we're good. Oh, that that disabled those pylons, and that looks like the exit. Yep, key unlocks the chains, and oh, great! These passages contain heating elements, which warm the air above them, and thus indirectly the rest of the complex. The passage of time has affected the pads differently. Some of them look a lot hotter than others. Oh, great. So... Oh, great. I don't know if we can even get through here without burning horribly. Can we... Yeah, we're gonna burn horribly if we try to... Okay, we can walk over them somewhat, but it's... Okay, this... <sighs> I'm not really gonna bother right now. Maybe I'll try to march over at some later point, but not now. So, I'm not going to try and get through there right now. Maybe later. God dang. And it would only be Elliot, not Natsu or Ivy. They would not survive. Not at all. So, I guess we're going through the cells the other way. Yeah, there's no other way to go, really. So, let's go. Let's see. Speed spores, yay. Grounded robe. Hmm. This looks like a testing chamber. Ah, look, a drake. A dead drake. Yeah, this is where the uh, creations were held. Trash and thorns. Up, ah, another Drake. Easily killed. Hmm. When you step in the circle, you start to feel slow and woozy. It must be designed to calm agitated creations. That makes sense. Go in there in a minute. Let's see, there's a holding cell. Boots and a broken baton. Up, oh, another Drake. Oh. An Urglach. Fortunately, it was killed easily. <laughs> Gemstones and tunics, yeah. There's a book here and more blocks. Yeah, these cells are ruined and destroyed. Whatever was in here... Yeah, they're pretty much all free. Alright, let's see what these books have to say. These lab notebooks were thick with observations. Creations put into this block of cells were constantly watched and evaluated. Shapers carefully looked for signs of the results of their experiments. 
creations, once they broke free, took out a good deal of their rage on these books, shredding and burning them. The fragments that remain reveal a chilling array of grisly experiments and horrible and painful mutations. You are but an apprentice. This is the closest you have ever been to the inner workings of your people's research. Some of the more unpleasant descriptions make you feel a little ill. E. You can't Im I can only imagine what kinds of things were said. Experiment number three worked fine. Experiment number four grew an extra leg. Experiment number five had a non-functioning liver. Experiment number six had a functioning liver, but it functioned too well. Experiment number seven turned inside out and exploded. Experiment m number eight turned into two pieces of meat. Experiment number nine then proceeded to eat experiment number eight. Experiment number ten... Well, even I'm not going to describe what experiment number ten did. These cells are empty. And the creations. Not really much to worry about here. I'm gonna use in most of those nests. More drakes. something in there. Huh. Pool. Why is that pool there? Ah! Servant Mind! Yes! This poor Servant Mind has been killed. Several javelins stick out of the body. It doesn't look like it happened long ago. It looks like Sholai work. It was not a wise thing to do. You would guess that the rogues were not running around loose until the being in charge of keeping them controlled and in hibernation was slain. This case contains several ceramic jars, each sealed with wax. Someone recently decided, in a fit of vandalism, to smash mo most of them. One remains intact, and you take it. There is a control panel here. Unsurprisingly, it is still intact and basically functional. Shapers designed these things to last a long time. Each has an array of controls, each with a simple label. Okay. Uh, control loose rogues. It breaks off in my hand. Great. Uh, pool access. A grinding noise from the east. Okay. High security. Click. Records. Click. Heat modulation. You hear a humming noise. Gate pylon. Click. Cell gates. Click. Click, click, click. Hmm. Oh, there's a pylon there. Ow. Okay, we need to heal Ivy in a moment. Right after we kill this. There we go. Okay. This seems to be the other side of the, uh... Power. It contains a bunch of decaying records, some old quill pens, and a key. You leave the trash and take the key. 